Good evening. Tonight, our big story, a disturbing one, leading to the immediate resignation of a CEO. This happening less than a week after a woman in a vegetative state gave birth at Hacienda. The company's CEO announced that he is stepping down tonight. Michael Doudna is learning more about the CEO. Michael. Bill Timmons, the president and CEO of For Hacienda Healthcare for the last 28 years, is out, marking the first major head to roll. But who is he and what exactly has gone wrong with this investigation? CEO Bill Timmons, whose profile online says, quote, quality patient care will always be his number one priority. People uh, have walked over broken glass to get their kids and, and, uh, and, and adult children into that place. Timmons now gone after news breaks that a woman in a vegetative state gave birth in a facility back in December. Obviously there was a sexual assault there. Attorney General Mark Burnovich, the latest to weigh in. Today, Timmons resigned with many questions unanswered on exactly what happened to the woman unable to move or communicate and requiring 24 hour care. Now we went to his house to ask about the allegations and then gave him a call. Hi, uh, Mr. Timmons. This is Michael Doudna with uh, 12 News. How are you doing this evening? After picking up the phone, Timmons decided to end the call just six seconds later. He hung up. Hacienda's website still has a glowing profile of Timmons, who was honored back in 2012 and 2017 by the Arizona House of Representatives and credits him with helping grow Hacienda from 63 clients to more than 2,000 patients. The profile wrapping up saying, quote, Bill is without a doubt the heart and soul of Hacienda Healthcare. Yet now, Timmons is gone. In a statement, the vice president of Hacienda's board said, quote, where they will accept nothing less than a full accounting of this absolutely horrifying situation, an unprecedented case that has dev devastated everyone involved. Back over to you guys. Okay, Michael.